A Keel character is essentially 1,000 characters. And it's important to know that because typically within an EDI document, every single character, every single space, every single delimiter is one character. So billing is not based on the character. It's going to be based on 1,000 characters or a Keel character. So essentially all you need to do is take the number of characters within your document and then divide that by a thousand and that gives you your killer character count. Well, um, the first report you can easily produce is if you want to get your killer character count yourself without having to do the math. You can go onto the IDX tracker under the analysis tool. That gives you all your values within a killer character count range. It's not in characters. So you would simply put in the date range for what you're looking to do. If you want to just compare your invoice from IDX to what your usage was, you simply put in the date frame for the first of the month to the last of the month, and it will give you your kilo character counts for the month. Now, other reports that are available, which I think would be important for people to have, is you can have the unacknowledged reports. And that basically tells you what EDI transactions you've sent that you have not gotten any acknowledgments for. Because you may want to go over and contact your trading partner because they may not have actually received that document and you wouldn't want to have a shipment be delayed because someone didn't get what was sent on that EDI document.